Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks, and this video is called The Father of Lies, and it's not about Tucker Carlson, no, it's not about that CIA reject establishment actor, newsreader, propaganda agent. No, I'm not wasting my time talking about that gobbledygook. No, it's about how the media, the alternative media, is the same. It's a two-headed beast, right? I get emails asking, why don't you talk about this that's happened in the news? Why don't you talk about that anymore? Nearly all of these things that people recommend me to talk about stem from the media. And you may have noticed in the last while that unless it's very unusual or interesting, I'm not talking about these stupid news stories anymore. It's all baloney. All of it. The media is preparing the way for the Antichrist. There's no truth coming out of any of it. It's all about controlling your consciousness, it's propaganda, it's fear, it's manipulation, it's mind control. And as I stated before, Medea is the goddess of illusion. Of course, it sounds very much like the media, and it is an illusion. It is also satanic. Satan is known as the father of lies. Therefore, the media is a falsehood machine. A falsehood, the absence of truth or accuracy, the practice of lying, mendacity, deception. Take heed that ye not be deceived. Now, you may disagree with me sometimes, but you can't disagree that what has come to light, if anything, over the last few years is that the media is the home of falseness and deception. The last three years have proven this, and it should have driven that concept home to you. I mean, if you had a friend who was lying to you constantly all of the time, you wouldn't have anything to do with them anymore. You certainly wouldn't invite a serial liar into your home. And if you do, more fool you. The media, in tandem with technology, is the Leviathan machine that is deceiving everyone and misleading them and wasting their time. As I've said before, it's getting you to follow man-made scripts as opposed to scripture. They want to keep you well away from that. Satan doesn't want you to be saved. He wants to lead you into the bottomless pit with him. That's why all of these stories are just chasing nonsense, getting you to chase your own tail. The greatest fear that they have is you not giving them your attention. Your attention is their primary source of energy. Your engagement and your belief or your knee-jerk reaction to what they say is your entrapment. Without your attention, you drain them of energy. They lose their power. They lose their power over you individually and their power over the collective. But one thing many are still missing is that the alternative media is exactly the same. I mean, look at this bit shoot. This was a trending chart a couple of days ago. This is supposed to be the alternative, but it's all the same. They're all talking about the same thing on that day. And that day was Tucker Carlson, the establishment puppet presenter. Clearly, clearly part of the system, and yet they are all covering this all at the same time. You've got your, your Mark Dice, your Alex Jones. I mean, look at all of this. And actually, these channels are now saying that he is, he's now one of the good guys, yeah? He's left the cult. <laughs> and if you look at the mainstream, like the BBC, CNN, Sky, and so on, on this very same day, a couple of days ago, they were all talking about Tucker Carlson as well. So either way, you're still talking and consuming the same crap. You're still being entangled into the same engagement about the same man-made scripts featuring the same actors and the characters who are all playing parts in the same pantomime. It's all being fed to you by the father of lies, the satanic media. There is no alternative media. They're all serving the same master. They're both the same. All talking about the same thing at the same time. I mean, look at, look at Rumble, right? It's no different. It's the same thing. Trending videos on the same day and it's the same subject. What do you got here? You've got Stephen Crowder uh, talking about Tucker. Uh, Dan Bongino or whatever his name is. Uh, same thing. Trump nonsense. This isn't the alternative. 
right? This is, this is the mainstream media. What's the difference? Rumble and BitChute are the alternative. They're just talking about the same stuff. Just getting you to focus once again on the man-made scripts. That is all lies. You're still being led down and around the garden path. All of these videos are just using the mainstream media for their content. There is no alternative. They're just magnifying and echoing and promoting the same man-made scripts. And they're getting you to engage with the same stories the establishment wants you to engage with. And therefore, harvesting your attention, harvesting your energy and your engagement and feeding it to the beast system that is incoming. And that beast system is being announced through the very same satanic media. Now, I've, I've not been looking at this stuff over the last few weeks, maybe more. I'm just not engaging with it anymore. I realize now that making videos about these stories is just promoting the man-made scripts. Yes, sometimes they need to be called out as false, but again, enga engaging with it is what they want. They don't care if it's positive or negative engagement, as long as you're engaged. If you're engaged, they have your attention, right? So look, I don't really know what's going on in the news and I don't care because I know it's all 99% crap. Some people, they can't handle this concept because they need a storyline to follow. The concept of switching all of this off, they can't come to terms with thinking in that way. I mean, like, for instance, what if, what if I didn't actually watch any of this? What if I completely switched off my phone, switched off the news and paid it no attention? They're like, I, I need to know what's going on. But why? What good is it doing you? Hardly anything you see in the news or hear about, hardly any of it affects your day-to-day -day life. And if it had the possibility of doing so, if you're not paying attention, you won't know anyway. 99.9% .9 of it has no relevance to you at all. Why do you need a storyline to follow? And why are you following the media, which you can clearly see is a falsehood machine, the father of all lies. Why do you need a script to follow? It's because you have forsaken scripture. People used to say to me, well, who in the alternative media can we trust? They can't all be shills, can they? They are unwittingly and innately looking for a savior. And we all know why, because they have forsaken or are ignoring that they already have a savior. The Lord is your shepherd, yeah? People talk about spiritual warfare, and yet you look at all of this crap. You're feeding on it. I had a look at some of the news for a few seconds yesterday. What was it? I see a Japanese CGI moon landing that went wrong. A black and white space potato from Mars. I mean, this stuff is kind of funny because it's so ridiculous. And even though it might be funny for me to make a video about it, I don't want to waste my time or your time on worthless things. And then, of course, the rest of it, the rest of the news, from what I can see, is the same old divisive, antagonistic bullshit being pushed out. There is no alternative media. There are no alternative platforms. They all serve the same master. And that master is the satanic media. They all push the same stories all at the same time, usually with the same message, supporting the same concepts and agendas. And it's all based on fairy tale rubbish, all to engage and ensnare you in the same illusory, make-believe, man-made scripts the satanic media want you to focus on. They want you to focus on these, okay? So for those who keep asking me, where is the news roundup or whatever, I'm not going to be echoing the media anymore, unless it's really interesting, because we all know that it's all nonsense. It's all an illusion. The actors on the stage are all part of the club, and it gets its power because people give it energy by giving it their attention and engagement. And that's the deception of all of these alternative media platforms. They are not giving you an alternative. They're just pumping out the same crap and feeding the beast with your energy. I've told you on here before, switch it all off. 
Stop engaging with it. Go cold turkey for a week. Don't look at the news. Don't use your phones. Don't look at social media. Don't go on YouTube or BitChute. Do it for a week and see how you feel. I'm telling you, you will feel much better and you will start to wonder, why do I look at all of this crap? People say, they say, it, they say, but if I don't use my phone or stop using the internet, I won't be able to watch your next video. Don't worry about that. It's not important. I'm not doing that many videos anyway. Here's a recommendation for you. Get yourself a King James Bible and read it and try and draw some wisdom from it. Wisdom like this, for example, Luke 11, 34. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thine eye is single, the whole body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness, right? Now, light is used to guide you, to lead you. It helps you to see things. It guides you down the right path, or at least helps you to choose the right path. So if the light of the body is the eye, then it's the type of eye you have that will determine how you see things and then the path you go down. A good eye will lead you to see good things. A bad eye will lead you to see bad things. It's not rocket science, is it? So what we allow into our lives through our eyes determines how we view the world. So when you're looking at these alternative media sites and channels, you might think you're looking at an alternative, but in reality, it's the same stories that the mainstream is pumping out. All the media channels have the same themes trending every day, and it's the same themes, it's the same characters being focused on, and they all stem from the satanic media, which is the father of all lies. So therefore, you're not getting anything different and you're still engaging with the darkness. They are all part of the same system. So your eyes are being tricked into accepting the darkness disguised as an alternative light. Don't think you're not affected by what you see and hear. I'll leave you with this one. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. As always, thanks for listening. Thank you for your time and I'll see you later.